At this point in Yalda's manga, I paused to catch my breath as I tried to keep up with the increasingly incredible story. Doesn't every Dutch, Jewish, and Bergen Nelson survivor think that they were the last person to see Anne Frank? I thought to myself. <laughs> Lynn survived, marked by her time in Auschwitz, and returned to Amsterdam to reunite with her husband and child who had gone again into hiding. That summer, she answered an ad from Otto Frank, whom she had met in Vestiborg, and told him the story of his daughters. Lynn devoted herself then to rebuilding her body and voice, and she and Eberhard toured Holland, and then displaced persons, camps, and communities. She on stage with her Yiddish songs and dances, he on piano. Yiddish speakers in DP camps initially brought her back to Germany to perform in the Bad Derech Theater at Schlachtensee in Berlin, where she gave concerts in 1947 and 48. So this is one of the songs that she would perform at these concerts. It's called Sprint, It's Burning. It's by, it was written by Mordechai Gebirte in 1936, so before the Shoah. And it's about pre-war violence in Poland, um, about in a shed near, near Krakow. Um, it is said that the opening musical figure of this song is based on the tones of the, the fire engines of Krakow at that time. Uh, one of the things that we thought about while we were preparing this song is what it so you can see the words are very like it's an imprecation to people, to Jews, to do something about what's happening. And we were curious just about how an audience of survivors would receive these words. Yeah. 